Oh yes, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Wee Oosh! In this video, I'll be showing you how to do some special card trading. Just before we get into the video, lads, if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got a 24-7 service. They're completely reliable. And if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. How are we doing, the boys? Hopefully you're all well. Hopefully you're doing good. It's LE96. Lewis. Yeah, let's get into it. In this video, the boys, I'm going to be showing you how to special card trade in FIFA 21. I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible, but it's difficult, all right? So just bear with me. Let's, if you enjoy this video, please do drop a massive, massive, massive like on it. Subscribe if you are new. Like target is going to be... Three likes. Oh, and comment and oosh in the comment section as well. Now, let's jump straight into it. Special card trading. What do you need to know? I'll tell you everything. I'll, I'll try and basically give you as many trading methods in this video as I can do and explain them as well. Now, special card trading is, is pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty hard. You can lose a hell of a lot of coins on it, but you can make a lot of coins as well. Now, this is good if you've got maybe like three, four, five, six hundred thousand coins. There are thereabouts. You can do this with more, to be honest. The more coins you've got, the better, but you probably need about three hundred thousand coins. But if you've not got that, do not worry. Click up here and it will take you to a video on how to make about that much. So one big thing with special card trading is you need to be out before content every single day because with content you could potentially crash what you've got which wouldn't be good, obviously. And in addition to that as well, there are days that are better at doing this than others. Thursday, rewards day, really, really good. Sunday, weekend league sell-off, really, really good. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's not bad, but there's not really too much going on on the game, so people aren't really buying the teams. Over the weekend, probably better, but again, use that rule. Before 6 p.m., you need to be out. If you're doing it after 6 p.m., you need to be out by the next day, 6 p.m., and just pay attention to what SBCs we get, because like, EA released a Vidal, a foot birthday of Vidal and pretty much everyone in the nan is completing it at the minute so as a result of that some special cards went down from the Serie A so I know that Kessie went down a ton with that I think he's back up now because basically people will see this card and be like hmm I've got Kessie I'm going to sell him and then I'm going to go and do this Vidal instead you with me? So obviously, as you boys know, EA did patch the compare price filter, which is a pain in the backside. But uh, you, to be honest, you're not really missing out on much. All it was was you go to nine and a half thousand coins, eleven thousand coins, min price around sixteen thousand coins. You go over to the shadow or the hunter, and you basically went over to the 59th minute, and you sat with one card over the 59th minute, and you sat here, and you just went compare price back, compare price back and then when a card popped up you picked it up if it was an undercut however 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 you can sort of still do that method and that's going to be the main method that i'm going to be showing you in this video however i've got a more high budget one as well and with that one you can get eye concert and it it's good. It's good, man. It's good. Nine and a half thousand coins, though. Max price eleven thousand coins. Min buy now is going to be eleven two fifty. Obviously, we're going to set it up to special. I'm going to go for the chem style, either shadow or hunter. Now, I have seen a few heads saying that shadow and hunters mean that cards sell for more. Now, they don't. I mean, they sort of do, but nowhere were you making mega, mega extra profit because of the tax. With a Shadow or Hunter, you can realistically maybe add on it a bit of a premium, but no more than, say, like, I don't know, like, 2%, something like that. It just helps the cards sell on, though, and it helps with the filter. So we're going to search up onto the market, and then what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to the 59th minute. Now, how do you find the 59th minute? Well, it's dead, dead easy. If a card says 59th minute, it's probably that card. But basically, you need to find two cards, right? One after the hour mark, so this Alan here is up for five hours, and one before the hour mark, which is this Milinkovic Savage. Then what you need to do is basically look, every time you search up on the market, for a card in between them two, and that card in between those could be a deal but then again it's not always guaranteed so what we're going to do we're going to go over to the max buy now and set that to 15 million coins now the reason for doing this is if you've sniped before is we need to change a parameter to refresh now you can do this with a little glitch where it updates itself but i found that this method works the tiniest bit better but we're all set up now so this is where the method comes into play instead of comparing price and backing out you just back out come back in and you have to change a parameter along the way and then if you see a card on a massive massive undercut it's a deal now the main thing with this is is learning player prices now 
You might be saying, Lewis, how the hell do I learn player prices? Now I'll show you exactly how I do it and how I find cards on the market. I'm like, oh, that's a spicy little deal. It's spicy. But sometimes you might not be able to get the best deal. Do you know what I mean? But ideally, you're looking for cards who are maybe on like a 15% undercut. So say, for example, they're going for like 20,000 coins and you see one that's about 18 and a half thousand coins. It's potentially a deal. Do you get what I'm saying? So... That's basically how you do this. Again, the more coins that you put into this, the better. If you can load up, I don't know, like 400, 500k per session doing this, you'll come out with it of like 50,000 coins before tax, which is really, really good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go off. I'm going to do a bit of trading. I'm just going to see what deals I can get and sort of talk you through why they're a good deal. And even when I actually see a card, why that card might be a good deal. So just give me two seconds, the boys. All right, boys. So... I've got myself a deal. Took me a few minutes, if that. Managed to get myself a Pepe for 47,000 coins. Now, you might be looking at it and thinking, Lewis, that's not bad. It's not bad, but how good is it? That is the question. So, basically, the main thing that you're doing with this is fluctuation trading. Now, if you don't know what fluctuation trading is, do not worry. It... it, it. It'd be worth learning it, but I think it's a completely separate topic for another video. Maybe I'll do a video on fluctuation trading at some point. But if we take a look at Pepe on the market, as you'll be able to see, he is currently on a low fluctuation. That's why I got one at 47,000 coins. Now, you might be thinking, Lewis, you pick one up at 47k, he's only going for 49k. If you sell at 50, you're only going to be making 500 coins profit. But that is not the plan with this. So if we take a look at Fort Bean, and this is something that you 110% should be using when using this method. If we go and take a look at Pepe's price, you can see he has been selling consistently between 51,000, well, as high as 54,000 early this morning. Morning? I don't know why I'm talking like that. Fucking hell, what are you like? Anyway, uh, yeah, so he's been fluctuating between 45,000 coins and 54,000 coins. So anywhere in between these isn't too bad. So I've got it 47k. I realistically think that I could get 52k and that's one of the things that I'm talking about with the chem styles they don't make you sell them for more than what they're worth but they do go to sort of help you sell that card on so if we can sell that card on at 52,000 coins I'll be making around 2,000 coins profit on that card now you might be saying well spending 47k to make 2k it's not the best in the world but that's basically what I was saying before the more coins you have with this the better because you can honestly make ridiculous ridiculous coins because say you put in like 500,000 coins if you get 10% of that back and you're doing that every hour you're absolutely churning coins out do you know what I mean the boys now in terms of special trading and this video is mainly just around that compare price thing you can do this with more higher budget players now again this filter you can set your own filters you don't have to use the filters that I'm using you can literally set your own so with this one here I've just come up with this one just straight off the top of my head because more higher budget players go for a minimum of 60,000 coins you can go 60 70 75 but honestly if you want to go 70 and a half you can do that it's completely up to you what you want to do as long as you've got that start price as that default start price you're pretty much cooking on gas so again i'm going to go over to the 59th minute and i'm just going to see what two cards i need to look at to find that 59th minute so i've got an ian Acho and i've also got a sergio aguero as well so in between those two cards is where the majority of the deals are going to be kicking about and you can set it to Shadow on Hunter if you want to. I, I should have done that before. I'm going to go for Shadow if that's okay. Thanks, guys. So I'm going to search up again with Shadow on this time. And I'm just going to find the 59th minute. So it's between Tellez and Simon. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go through it and I'm just going to go and see if I can find myself a deal. Good thing is with this that it's on the first page. So you can see immediately any cards who are popping up. So straight off the bat, there's nothing here. But I have actually got icons with this. I got a Petit before. At 200,000 coins, sold him on at 215,000 coins. Only 5,000 coins profit, but 5,000 coins profit just like that. I, I can't lie, do you know what I mean? And about five minutes later, I have just got myself a banging deal. I have just gone and picked up a Van Nisselrooy at around just shy of around 20,000 coins under, which is very, very nice with a Hunter on him as well. Now, I think I could probably get a bit more on him. I've been taking a look at his market sales history and he's been selling the tiniest bit more than his min price at the minute. It actually looks like that he's on a down fluctuation at the minute. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and list him up at 165,000 coins to see if I can get a sell on at that. Fingers crossed, I will be quite lucky. I've been flicking between Hunter and Shadow. And to be honest, it's it's been it's been decent it's been really really decent let's jump over to the transfer list i've got some other stuff selling on some other players who i've been using from this method are selling on i've got 
three of these cards so you need to sell them and then obviously Van Nisseroy. But Leds, if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like on it. Cost you nothing. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below though if you need help with anything. This is like an updated compare price kind of method. Just special card sniping. I know that a lot of people are always wanting me to do like sniping videos and sniping filters. And I don't really do that but... I think this is a, a good overall sniping filter, but either way though, boys, 26. Lewis, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it. Comment down if you need anything. 26, and I am off. <laughs> Goodbye.